Hello, I'm Pat Archibald. I'm a textile artist. I'm here at National Exhibition Centre in Birmingham at Festival of Quilts, where I have a stand demonstrating and teaching every day. And now I'm going to share one of my favourite techniques with you. So this is working with some very intense water-based dyes that come in little pallets like this, which I just think are so easy and manageable to work with. So I've got my little mixer dish there, my neutrals, my blues and greens, all my reds and purples, and my warm colour palette. Now if you're nervous at all about working with colour, then this is a wonderful colour palette to work with. If you stick to working with the colours from one palette, you're going to be guaranteed to have a lovely result. So I'm going to work with this palette here. My favourite colours, the dual tones, sapphires, blues and amethysts there. I'm going to paint onto Luchador. This is a spun bonded textile. It's 100% polyester. It is very, very strong and it is very paintable. You can, in fact, use any paints on it. But as I said, these are the ones that I favour for this particular job. Luchador comes in various weights. For my work, I work with one of the lightest weights, Luchador 30. It provides me with the transparency that I want in the type of work that I do and which I will show you some examples of later. So load your brush up with water, load your brush up with paint and just start to put a wash of colour over the luchador. I'm going to just work my way around the colour palette here and you can start to see the wonderful colours and how well they mix on the luchador. So going into the greens going into some of the more yellow, yellowy greens now. And you can probably see, because I've got kitchen paper under this, that there's a real intensity of colours with this. Now, normally, I would probably work just on the plastic, and I would probably leave the luchador to, to dry overnight, in which case it will absorb back a lot of colour. But because this is a quick demonstration, I'm hoping to get you very enthusiastic about working with these paints, then I have got the kitchen towel underneath, which is absorbing quite a bit of the colour. But of course, I've got some samples that I did earlier on that I can share with you. I'll just show you that. I'm just going to peel it off and you'll see that my effects are quite pale in comparison with what's underneath. But if I had more time, I would just let the colour absorb back up into Luchador. Now I'm going to iron it off, just, uh, sorry, dry it off, just using the hair dryer here and that will dry in just a few seconds. So just take that over to the hair dryer and just give it a quick blast. And that's probably all that the lightweight is going to need. So here's a couple of pieces that I did earlier on. So I allowed them a bit longer to absorb the colour and you can see they've got a slightly more intense result there. It's still transparent, but that's the effect that I want. What I would do then is then use some templates, cut out some lovely leaf shapes, and depending on the colour palette I've worked with, I would then try the leaves on different background fabrics. So here I've used my warm colours, I've cut out my leaf shapes and I've pinned them onto this lovely yellow background fabric which just intensifies the warm colours a bit more. Here I've used the red and purple palette on the Luchador, cut out the leaf shapes and then put it on a background of lilac coloured fabric. And again that intensifies the sort of purpley lilac colours in that particular palette. Once I've cut them out and laid them onto my fabric in a design that I'm pleased with, then I'll just stitch them on. I've got wadding backing underneath and I've free motion stitched the leaves in place. And as it's a spun bounded textile, this fabric is not going to free at all. So I can leave the raw edges there. I can add in some background stitching in the shape of stars there, complete it with some zigzag stitch and that is my little piece finished. A couple of other techniques that I've discovered by accident is that sometimes I work with some special glue and I work with a pressure sensitive glue. Let's see if we can put that on a white background here and you can see a little bit better. Pressure sensitive glue dries tacky. 
And I'll just prove that to you. And you can see that it sticks to my hands there. That means then that it will take the foils that I love to work with as well. So here's some of the foils here. You can also see that working with the pressure sensitive adhesive, then it intensifies the colours. Now, if I then take a piece of foil and press it on colour side up, and I'm just going to do a little corner of this to show you, a teaspoon to rub it on would be, could make it easier. And you can see that the foil takes on the area where I've painted with the pressure sensitive adhesive. This is an ordinary PVA glue here, which I've used. It's not sticky at all when it dries, but it serves to intensify the colour that I've used when I've been painting the Luchador. And it's another lovely effect that you can add into the work. Here's a finished example here, where I've got a beautiful mount cut with the silhouette of the stag in it. And I've got a Celtic design in the background there, which I've used with the pressure sensitive adhesive and then added little touches of foil into that. I've got a couple of other samples to share with you. So these are out of my book, which is called Dual Journeys in Stitch. And this is an aspect on India. And I've written the book with my colleague Gillian Travers. These are two of the people that I met on my travels in India that really made quite an impression on me. And what I've done with the, the men is I've used the luchador to paint the men. I've then cut the luchador shape out and applied it to my background fabric there. It has that semi-transparent quality, so the background colours of the fabric do show through the figures to a certain extent. In the foreground, I've taken some traditional Indian patterning, so the lovely paisley pattern here, and some Indian scroll work. And I've applied that using Marco paint sticks, which uh, I've shown you a little bit about in another video. So a combination of two of my favourite techniques. So again, I hope that's inspired you to try working with Luchador to enjoy the different results. And of course, there's many more ways you can work with Luchador, but these are the ways that I enjoy and get the effects that I want to then put into my work. Thank you.